On Jamie Rhoda Meyer, the Williamsville North High School freshman who has become the face of a battle many people endure all too often bullies. His family and friends are heartbroken, asking why and how. How did it get so bad that he decided to end his life at the age of 14? Jamie's story and the tales of so many others who are bullied are the driving force behind our News 4 Bully Project, an ongoing mission to raise awareness and stop the abuse before it's too late. My co-anchor Jackie Walker and our team of reporters are with us tonight. We begin with News 4's George Rickert, live from Williamsville North High School. George? Well, for the second day in a row now, both the students and staff here have been trying to come to grips with this, asking themselves if there's anything they could have done or said to have stopped this tragedy. I never would have thought him. Like, he was such a happy kid. A school in shock over the suicide of Williamsville North freshman Jamie Rodemeyer. When he was in middle school, he posted on the internet that he was bullied because he's bisexual. His parents say he has struggled with his own sexuality for years. So he hung out with the girls a lot. So then the teasing started happening, like, oh, you're such a girl, or you're gay, or whatever, and that bothered him for many, many years. Friends thought it was getting easier for him, and this past May, he gave a testimonial on YouTube. And they taught me in the hallways, and I felt like I could never escape it, and I made a form spring, which I should have done, and people would just constantly send me hate, telling me that gay people go to hell, and, um... I just want to tell you that it does get better. In July, he lost his great-grandmother and a friend, 18-year-old Alex Rice, who was struck by a car while riding her skateboard. But hours before his death Sunday morning, he posted online, I just want to see my great-grandma and Alex. His parents are convinced that verbal bullying drove him to take his life. And to the kids who are bullying, that they have to realize that words are very powerful and what you think is just fun and games isn't to some people and you're destroying a lot of lives it definitely changed my perception about a lot of things because i'm not even gonna lie i'm one of those people who you might consider a bully in all senses but now looking at something like this it's like why even why even do that and what i don't understand and my friends and i are furious over this that we don't know if anything is being done to stop this bullying. We've been doing things proactively for years, and we're always self-examining ourselves and what can we do better. But especially in a world of social networking, it's not always easy. It's incredibly difficult, and I think if there was a, an easy solution, a school district or a school community would have found it by now. And I would say to all the other kids, if you see bullying happy, happening, you need to rally for your friend and gang up on the bullies and tell them they're wrong to stop it. Well, that's the school's job. We need to make things right. And the school has had grief counselors here for the past two days. They have done some proactive things, like a program next month, October 25th, called Out of the Darkness, a panel discussion for parents to deal with the issue of teen depression and suicide. That was arranged before Jamie's death. And